In today's video, we're going to talk about the rule of 72. What is it? How does it work? How can it be helpful in your retirement planning? It's coming up next. Hey, this is Mel Stubbs. I'm a financial planner at Christie Capital Management, and we're trying to bring you good information to help bring clarity to your retirement situation. Today, we're talking about the rule of 72. Now, this is a quick, useful formula that's popularly used to estimate the number of years required to double your money at a given annual growth rate. So here's the formula. It's T equals 72 divided by R, where T is the number of periods required to double an investment, and R is the interest rate per period as a percentage. Now I said T equals 72 divided by R, but the math is not quite exact. For, for an interest rate of 1%, the rule would be 72, meaning it would take you 72 years to double your money. Well, actually it would take you 69.66 years, but that's close enough. For a 10% interest rate, it would take you 7.2 years to double your money based on the rule of 72, when in actuality, it would take you 7.27 years to double your money. Now, I know that's extra picky, but I did want to let you know that this is a close estimate, but not an exact number. So how do you use this rule? I know I use this rule a lot when I'm talking with people who are 55 years old, maybe 60 years old, and we're trying to plan for how much they will have when the required minimum distribution start. Right now, RMDs start at age 72. So let's just say, for example, I'm talking to somebody that's 62 years old and they have around $500,000 of traditional retirement money. Now, based on their risk tolerance level, we think they can earn around a 7% return a year. Now, we can use this rule of 72 to quickly figure out that in 10 years, they could double their money. You know, to double your money in 10 years, that would need a 7.2% return each year. That means they'd have around $1 million in simple math terms at age 72 that would be subject to required minimum distributions. Now, RMDs are around a 4% per year. So based on $1 million balance, that'd be around a $40,000 a year that would be a required minimum distribution. We can then use that number to look at their tax bracket situation. Let's say, for example, that they're in the 12% federal tax bracket now. But in 10 years, when they have to take out around a $40,000 RMD, that could push them up into the 22% bracket. That's a 10% jump in tax bracket from a 12% bracket to a 22% bracket. This is a perfect example of why you may want to do Roth conversions over the next 10 years so that you can avoid that required minimum distribution and thereby avoid being pushed up into the 22% bracket. So what's helpful about the rule of 72 is that you can quickly estimate a future balance. Now, this is an oversimplification. This doesn't account for distributions or other things that may affect that balance growth. It's just a quick way to come up with a potential future balance. In retirement planning, this is how I use the formula. So let's say there's still too much math for you. So here's a quick two ways to use this formula. If you think you can earn 10% a year, your money would double in 7.2 years. If you had your money 100% aggressive, historically, this would be a number that you could earn. Now, the second way to use it is let's say that you think you can earn around 7.2%. This means that you could double your money in 10 years instead of seven. Historically speaking, if you have your money invested around 80% aggressive and 20% conservative, you could earn around 7% returns. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you need help with your retirement planning, please reach out to christycapital.com. We'd love to work with you and help you in any way that we can. Give us a call so we can talk through your planning situation. This is Mel Stubbs. I'll see you on the next video. We need to do the proper disclaimers. The purpose of this video is not to give specific tax advice or investment advice. We're going over general principles and ideas that can be used and if used correctly can save and avoid taxes. You're going to want to work with someone personally who knows your situation personally. So seek out advice from an independent financial advisor. This is for educational purposes only. I hope you enjoyed the video.